Hello, I'm Alex Jones, and I'm a senior support engineer at Microfocus Customer Care. The following is a short video walking you through the steps of setting up an App Manager 9.1 evaluation. The first step of the process will be to download the App Manager 9.1 core trial package. I've downloaded it here, and I've already extracted the contents. Within the extracted contents, simply double click the setup.exe. This will start the App Manager 9.1 setup interface. The introduction contains basic information about the trial you're about to install. The documentation link takes you to a page with links to each of the guides that ships with the trial package. If you've recently downloaded the trial package, you do not need to check for updates as it is current. The link for start installation takes us to the page we need to be. You have two options. You can install the pieces individually, or you can install everything as an all-in-one installation on a single server. For the purpose of this demonstration, we'll be installing everything on a single server. Scroll down to the Install App Manager link, click the Install App Manager link, select Run, and if you need to, select Run again. This will launch the App Manager 9.1 trial installation wizard. On the welcome screen, you're greeted with two options. You may install either an evaluation or a production version of the product. If you do not have a production license for App Manager 9.1, select Evaluation. Click Next. The installation wizard will do a quick background check to make sure that all the prerequisite products are installed and in place and properly configured. If there is a problem, it will list it on this page. You can click the link at the top of the page to see the list of problems to help guide you on what prerequisites need to be applied. Click Next. The wizard will install some runtime support installation package components, which are simply small components that need to be added to the server before the installation can commence. This should only take a few moments. Once the runtime support installation packages have been applied, the installation wizard will run through a list of agent module validation processes to validate which modules are applicable for the server you're using. Once the module pre-check completes, the installation wizard will ask you to accept our licensing agreement. Select the I accept the terms of the license agreement and click Next. The wizard then needs to know where you would like to install App Manager. If the default path is not acceptable, click Change, set the correct path, and then click Next. The installer needs an account that has permissions to perform installations locally and will also have to have administrative rights to SQL where the App Manager database and Control Center databases will be stored. Provide the appropriate username and password. And then click Next. The installation wizard also needs to know the name of the SQL Server that will be hosting the App Manager repository and Control Center repository databases. The default names for these databases are QDB and NQCCDB, respectively. In this case, since we're doing an all-in-one installation, the local server name is adequate for the SQL Server name. We are also using Windows Authentication, so all we need to do now is click Next. At this point, the installation wizard needs to know which modules you'd like to apply as part of your trial. You do not have to add any modules you don't want to trial, and you can always add additional modules later. But for the purpose of the installation, we're going to select specific modules that we'd like to apply. Since it's a SQL Server, we're going to add the App Manager for SQL Server module, as well as the Microsoft Internet Information Server module. Once you've selected the modules you'd like to trial, click Next. The confirmation page shows you all the components that are about to be installed, including the two modules you just selected on the previous screen. Once you've verified that these are the components and modules you'd like to install locally, click Next. The installation should only take a few minutes, but depending on the resources of the server, may take longer. Once the installation of all the core components has been completed, the installation wizard will install the Windows module, which is required on any Windows agent as well as the modules that were selected on the previous screen.
At this point the installation is completed. Click Next and then Finish. The final step for configuring your App Manager 9.1 trial installation is to launch the App Manager Task Scheduler configuration utility. Once the Task Scheduler configuration utility launches, slide over to the Tasks pane and under Repository, click Add. Enter the name of the SQL Server instance and the name of the database, in this case, QDB. And click OK. You will also need to add the Control Center database. and click OK. At this point, the configuration of your trial is completed. You can close the configuration utility and launch the App Manager Control Center console. This can be found under Start, Programs, NetIQ, App Manager, App Manager Control Center. If you have any questions about your trial, please contact NetIQ Sales or technical support. Thank you.